In this lesson, we do some work on 3D objects. Examples. Match the object with its name. So the first one we've got there is a die. Notice I didn't say dice, because dice is if you've got two or more. But if you've just got one of them, it's a die. So the names we're going to choose from a cone, a cube, cylinder, rectangular prism, sphere, or triangular prism. So what do you think this is? It's got all square faces. There's six of them. This is, in fact, a cube. The next one, this green soft drink container. It's got a round top. What do you think? This is a cylinder. This next one here, this tent. It's an older style tent. There's still a few of these around, but mostly they're the dome type. But this old style tent, let's have a bit of a look. We've just tr traced it out a bit. What do you think? Well, this is a triangular prism. This old book, it's got uh, a few rectangles I can certainly see. You look at the shapes. It's a rectangular prism. Now this ball, when it's a ball, the mathematical name for a ball is a sphere. So try saying that, sphere. Sometimes people have trouble saying that one, so you practice that, sphere. Mmm, yum yum. Two parts. We've got the top and the bottom of this ice cream. Well, the top again is a roundish shape, so yes, we've got the sphere again. And the bottom, let's have a look at that. What do you think? Well, this is a cone, right? And that's one of the reasons it's called an ice cream cone. Terrific. We'll now have a look at drawing 3D objects. Let's start with rectangular prisms. Now, the first thing we do is, is draw a rectangle like that. That's the front, that's the face. And we're going to draw the exact rectangle, same rectangle, to the right and up a bit. Once you've done that, really the hard work's done, the rest is easy. Going from the corners, we draw the edges in like that. And there we have it, a pretty good looking rectangular prism. Let's do that again down here, but I've just done it lightly. And we'll darken in the edges that we can see. So we're going to darken in the front there. And we're going to darken in around it like that. So they're all the edges that we can see. Now the other edges that are still light, we can use dotted lines to indicate they're inside the shape. All right, we could do almost the same thing as we just did. Darken in all the edges we can see. And the ones we can't see, we'll actually just rub them out. So there we have it, three rectangular prisms there. What about triangular prisms? All right, the same technique. Start with a triangle. Then we'll draw the same triangle to the right and up a bit. Let's join up the corners with the edges. And there we have it, a pretty good looking triangular prism. Again, let's lighten that there and let's draw in the edges that we can see. All right, they're the ones we could see. The ones we can't see, use dotted lines. And then again, we could do this, darken in the ones we can see. And the edges we can't see, let's rub them out. Terrific. Hexagonal prisms. Well, you're right, we're going to draw a hexagon firstly. And then, yes, another hexagon to the right and up a bit. Then we join up the corners, the edges there. So with a bit of practice, you'll be an expert at this. And there we have it, a great looking hexagonal prism. We can again do this way. So let's darken in the edges we will see. You just need to have a bit of a think about which edges would you see. I think they're all the edges we would see. The other edges would be inside the shape. We wouldn't see that. So let's use the dotted line approach for those. Again, darken in the edges we can see. And the edges we can't see, let's rub them out. Fantastic. What about cylinders? Hmm. Okay, we know that a cylinder has a circle on top. We're going to draw an oval because we're actually looking at it at an angle. So we draw an oval like that and directly underneath it, another oval, same size. Then the edges there. Okay, so there's our starting point. There's our cylinder. Okay, we can make it look a bit more realistic by doing this. Darken in the edges we can see. And the edges we can't see, use the dotted line. Or on the other hand, let's darken all the edges we can see. The edges we can't see, rub them out. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.